everyone. Welcome to my channel. So today I have my sister here with me and we are going to be unboxing and tasting the Universal Yums Yum Yum box for April 2022. Now if you're unfamiliar with Universal Yums, they are a monthly snack subscription where each month you get snacks from a different country. I believe that this month is Israel, but it probably says it in the title. Now they have three different levels of subscriptions. The Super Yum box is $41 a month and you get 20 plus snacks. Then there is the Yum Yum box, which is $27 a month, comes with a little bit less snacks. And then there's the Yum box, which is $16 a month and comes with the smallest amount of snacks. Now, today we're unboxing the Yum Yum box, which is different. This box was sent to me for free for review. I do also pay for the Super Yum box, which is the $41 um, dollar box. But this month, we're just gonna do the PR box, the $27 middle box. So we're really excited to see the difference between the Super Yum and the Yum Yum box, but today, it's just the Yum Yum Box, the $27 version. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Katrina, my sister's name is Rachel, and we are Subbox lovers. We love to share subscription boxes with all of you Subbox lovers out there. So if you like subscription boxes, unboxing videos, food videos, things like that, go ahead and subscribe and join the Subbox lover family. And without further ado, let's jump in the box. <laughs> So when you open up the box, this is what it looks like. It looks very similar to the Super Yum boxes we've gotten before. It's just a little bit smaller. You get the Welcome to Israel card. On the back, it does list all of the products inside and you can rate them your favorite, worst, and weirdest. And then you get the little booklet and the snacks. So the booklet is really, really awesome. There's tons of great information inside. So it talks to you about Israel. The recipe this month is shakshuka, which we've made many a times. It's a very, very good dish. You got trivia and then it goes into all of the different snacks and why they chose them, which we're not going to read because we'd be here forever. It then also does have the nutritional information inside and some fun little games. Now, because this is the Yum Yum box and it has less snacks, we're actually going to try everything in this box. And the Super Yum box, it is just too much for us to try everything on camera in one sitting. But today we're going to try everything. So the first thing that we received are by Tik Tok. These are the Chili Lemon Corn Puffs. It says they're hot and sour corn flavored snacks. Um, so we are this time we're we're gonna show the products and taste them right away too as we go through. So let's try these bad boys out. Ooh, wait. Ooh, they look like mint little mini like Cheetos. Cheetos. Um, I'm excited to see if these are spicy. Ooh, they smell really good. They do. I love those. I went and then took like a million more bites. They're really good. The flavor isn't like pow in your face, lemon, chili. I get the lemon and the chili, but it's more like when you have calamari and there's like lemon and chili, it's like the, mm -hmm. it's a background. Yeah. It kind of tastes like that. Yeah, no, you're right. They were really light, even though like they weren't crunchy. They were light flavor wise and they were light texture wise as well. But that's a bag I could easily sit there and eat the whole thing in like two minutes and they'd be like, oh, where'd they, where'd they go? Yeah, I will be finishing this bag. And there, it says spicy, but it's, there's like a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of spice. It's not very spicy at all. Yeah, I can manage it. So if I can manage it, you can manage it. <laughs> The next thing that I'm pulling out is this here. This is from Bisley, and these are their falafel sticks. Um, I love falafel, so I'm curious mm -hmm. to see how they are in stick form. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. We've, I don't think we've ever had a falafel flavor chip or snack or anything, so I'm intrigued. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they do smell like falafel. Ooh, they do. All the spices. Oh my, wait, these look fun. Uh, wait, look, they're like little oh, stickies. They're like little tiny, like. They're like little, yeah. They I, do really smell like falafel too. Okay, let's try these. Okay. okay. Mixed opinions about these. I thought they were really good. You get all the flavors and spices and things like that. They're not super salty though. Yeah, it's missing salt. Exactly, but that's not something I, because they're so small, I wouldn't just sit there and snack on them. That would be a perfect salad topper or like a crunchy little topping to something um, to, add, to add some flavor. So yeah, overall good, but not my favorite. Yeah, I agree. I wish there was, if to snack on them, it needs a little bit more salt. They're salt. a little <laughs> salt. <laughs> they are kind of harder. They're definitely mm -hmm. harder than the other ones. So it does it doesn't like hurt to chew it, but it's definitely really crunchy. So I really do think these would be good as like on a salad or like as a crunchy topping to something versus mm -hmm. something I would snack on, but they're still very good. Yes. Next up, we have something by 
I'm probably gonna butcher this, Pizek Zaman Milk and Chocolate Caramel Wafer. I'm actually really excited to try this. I love caramel and I love white chocolate. I switch between saying caramel and caramel, by the way. I don't know why, I don't know what's right, but I switch the two. Um, yeah, so it looks like it's, it looks like there's milk chocolate on the bottom and then it has a caramel wafer and white chocolate over it. I don't know. We're gonna we'll try it. We'll find out. I feel like you can't go wrong. So it's in like a bar format. It does it, have the milk chocolate. We broke off pieces. Yeah. So let's try it. Yes. That was good, but it was a very, very sweet because you get the white chocolate, you got the caramel. Those are very sweet. And so for me, it was probably a little bit too sweet, but I think kids will absolutely love that. Mm -hmm. As a kid, I would have devoured that entire thing. Now I'm at that age where it's like, mm, that's too sweet for me. And I hate it, but I love it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So it was, it was good, but again, and sometimes we're like picky with our chocolates. We like the German chocolate and things like that, which has a distinct like flavor and quality to it. This actually wasn't that bad quality-wise mm -hmm. for the chocolate, but again, it was just a little bit too sweet for me personally. Up next, we've got some honey mustard smash pretzels. Woo! Um, or honey mustard and onion, I guess, is what it says here. I'm very, very, very excited for these. Also, fight me on this. Honey mustard is an elite dipping sauce, and it's the best one that exists. So I'm very excited to try this. I'm a ranch gal, but that's mm. fine. <laughs> We're gonna fight. <laughs> these look just like Snyder's, um, like The pretzel. honey mustard ones, yeah. yeah. Those were really good. I did get a little bit more onion than like the ones you'd buy here. Um, but overall really good. I mean, there's not much to say about it. It's like a pretzel bite with honey mustard flavor. Um, Katrina said she got him some gummy bear. No, okay, so like it has this really sweet quality to it. And that it's like giving me like mm -hmm. mustard gummy bear vibes. Like I don't know, like it's good. Like that sounds horrible, but like it's just Oh, it says honey. Maybe it's like a honey gummy bear vibe. I don't know. It just tastes really sweet to me with the savory. It's good. It just there's hints of like, stop laughing at me. Oh my gosh. I like, mean, <laughs> gummy bear honey mustard. Stop. <laughs> Next product. Next up, we received something I'm so excited about. These are strawberry and vanilla marshmallows. No eggs, made with fish gelatin, no added preservatives. So they're fish. <laughs> No, I think no, they're made kidding. that way for halal. No, I know. I'm just kidding. Um, I love strawberry fruity things, as you guys know, so let's try them. So Katrina suggested doing the chubby bunny No, challenge. absolutely <laughs> not. There's not enough marshmallows in this bag. She's so I annoying think right we now. should try. They smell like strawberry vanilla. Like strawberry says... milk. That's the vibes I get. Either way, we're trying one of each flavor. Che wait, cheers. <laughs> Ew, now you look you at No, I didn't like it yet. Do you want to cheers? Okay, that was weird. Bye. <laughs> So those weren't horrible, but they weren't, the aftertaste is like really bitter for me. Mm -hmm. um, but I didn't think that they were bad. They, the sugar is somewhat gritty. It kind of is like cotton candy marshmallow vibes because of the grittiness of the sugar. Mm -hmm. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I mean, I don't, it's not like I like love marshmallows anyway, other than hot chocolate. And I would not put strawberry on hot chocolate. So yeah, I don't know. I feel the same way. They were good, but I like like the fluffy marshmallows. Those weren't super fluffy and like creamy. They were just more gritty but tasted good. I mean, you definitely get the strawberry. All right, up next, the product, the next two products are coming out of the Yum Bag, which is a little bag filled with candies. And we have four of these, so we're only gonna try two. These are the Grape Toffee Sticks, which I love the idea of that. So this is what it looks like. It has that like artificial grape, I mean, well, duh, but you know. Yeah. All right, so we're actually splitting one in half to try. I thought that was really good. It was just like a Laffy Taffy. <laughs> like a great Laffy Taffy basically sweet chewy it was a little hard at first but after like a couple chews it softens that's what she said <laughs> not I enjoyed them I mean it's like artificial grape which I actually like the taste of artificial grape knowing that it's not real grape and mm -hmm. yeah so it's like I feel like that's something we can get here though it didn't feel special yeah I mean like I said it tasted like a Laffy Taffy there's a grape was, yeah yeah Okay, guys, I am so, so, so excited about this next thing. They're like little gummies. They're strawberry banana swirl soft candy. It's like a gummy with sugar, sugar. granules on the outside, and they're swirly. I'm, yeah, oh this is gosh. amazing. Like, I cannot wait. Yeah. So oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, yeah. Um, I don't, okay, yeah. stop talking. <laughs> that was beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm a big strawberry banana fan. 
and that just tasted so good. It tastes like a smoothie and a candy form and it's mm -hmm. chewy and it's yummy and I love gummies and like yum. Yeah, and I love the texture of the little crunchy sugar granules. I don't know. Yeah, it was really good. The only thing is like it does have artificial banana flavors. So if you're somebody who doesn't like that, I love art. I love artificial fruit flavors. I don't know what <laughs> yeah, the problem is, but I, I love too. them. So that was really good. And we're both gonna eat those next two here very soon. Yes. The next thing out is this here. These are the Manamim Lemon Cream Wafers. This is like a chunky wafer. Like mm -hmm. now we are not wafer fans. I'm gonna preface this by saying we get a lot of wafers in these boxes. We are gonna try them, but we're just, we don't love these. So yeah, that's why I like, Super excited to try them. Yeah, same. All right, so here is what one of the wafers looks like. I think we're just gonna split one. I am not the biggest fan of those, to be honest. At first, when I took a bite, I was like, oh, typical wafer, it's not awful, but I'm not like, yeah, I don't know. The filling was a little sour. I just, yeah, I just got the sour. It's like really sweet, and then it's like really sour. I yeah. love sour, mm -hmm. but it just doesn't work. And it doesn't taste like lemon per se. Like it has a flavor to it, but I don't know what it is. It's not lemon. It's like a weird botanically thing. I don't yeah. know. It, I mean, it's not the end of the world. If you like wafers, you'll probably like it. We just don't like wafers. So. Yeah, it wasn't for us. No. Next up, we have some chocolate. This is Elite Milk Chocolate Bar with popping candies, which is super fun. Um, yeah, there's not much to say about yeah. it. It's milk chocolate popping candies. So. Like I said, we are a little bit of chocolate snobs though. So we'll see if we like the chocolate itself but the popping candy sounds very fun. fun. It's got little cows on yeah. it. it. This is the same brand as the other chocolate bar, so I'm curious to see if it's super sweet. Oh, I kind of put a bite in my mouth. Okay, okay let's go. So I still am feeling the faint remnants of popping candies on my tongue. Ew, like I can hear your <laughs> mouth popping over there. Um, I love it. The popping candy and chocolate is just really fun. Yeah. The chocolate was fine. It's not like the most amazing chocolate ever, but it was creamy and melty and the popping candy is fun. I think mm -hmm. kids will love it. Will I like grab, like run back to that chocolate bar? Probably not, but it's still really fun. Yeah, the chocolate itself wasn't impressive to me, but the poppy candies are fun. <laughs> yeah. All right, and next up we have some Bamba peanut puffs. We've had like these in Germany are like a big deal, so I'm excited to try these. I don't think you like them though, right? I'm not a huge fan of them before. Can we just talk about this little baby's hair? <laughs> it looks like a little, I don't know, carrot poop. <laughs> Rachel, uh, we're eating food. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this is what they look like. They smell really peanut buttery. Oh, they do. So they're a basic peanut puff, honestly, if you've ever had one before. They are on the salty side of peanut. I know some peanut butters are sweeter, some are saltier. This is definitely a savory snack. They're light, fluffy. These are one of those snacks you just keep grabbing and you forget that you ate the whole bag. I love these. I prefer the more savory peanut butter puffs to the sweet ones. So I really love these. These are light and fluffy and crunchy and amazing. And I will be devouring the rest of this. She bag. already shoved like five in her mouth. Okay, right we're time. not going to talk about that. Okay. <laughs> Last but not least, we have some salted corn cones. These basically just remind me of bugles, bugles. and it says that too. It's their version of bugles. Um, corn snacks, lightly salted. These smell like savory churros. <laughs> they smell like fried dough. Yeah. That's what they which smell is like. A churro. So they're fine. Um, they're not as good as Bugles, and she's getting a fishy taste, so she's like over here. They taste like old fried oil at the end. I'm getting like a fishy calamari flavor. Oh my god, stop. I don't know. Uh, I no. think I'm just in my head, but... No, but you know you're not, because yeah, it has that like old fried fishy oil. It's not, it's just, it's not a Bugle. Yeah, Bugles are better. <laughs> Um, so yeah, these, they're not bad. I bet a lot of people will love them. It's just mm -hmm. that, that, it just got a weird, it got weird. Once you get a thought in your head of a flavor that you think you're tasting, it's, you can't get it out of your head. And yeah. I'm there at the moment. So, yes. anyways, overall, I was impressed with this box though. Yeah, this was a, I, so it's probably because it's not a European country. I feel like the European countries get kind of boring and it's like the same stuff over and over again. And we keep, mm -hmm. haven't been to a lot of European countries recently. Um, but I really am excited about this one. I think my favorite thing are these. I think this is my favorite. I think these little gummies. Oh yeah, those were good the too. Strawberry um, bananas. <clears throat> I also like the honey mustard, but they weren't like super unique. Yeah. But yeah, no, I thought it was a good mix of chocolate, gummy, savory, snacky, like a good mix of Things. And I do like that we got to try every single snack. I feel like that's really fun. Yeah. Let us know what you guys think. Do you yeah. like it that we try everything or do you prefer if we 
have more snacks and only taste a few. Yeah, do you pr would you prefer that we keep doing the yum yum? We do the super yum. Obviously this was sent to us, so that's why we're doing it. Love to hear your thoughts on that. Also, if you're wondering why we did not have a video up for March, it's because the country is Russia and we just didn't feel like it would be appropriate for us to share that on the channel. Um, Universal Yums did come out and let individuals choose whether or, they, what, whether or not they wanted to receive the Russia box. You could have picked past boxes as well. So we just chose not to do a video last month, but we're starting off again with this month. So again, let us know all your thoughts down in the comments below. If you've tried these snacks, let us know what you think. We would love, love, love to hear your thoughts, and we'll see you in our next video.